Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's Jizzy, aka JVC. Super cool, you know. I'm always blessed, and I'm never stressed. And I'm back with a new video. So today we're gonna be doing Spark again. But I'm gonna get out of my comfort zone today. I'm gonna actually try to do a batch order, and I'll bring you guys along um, for my experience and everything like that. I'm a little nervous. I don't know what to expect. Um, the time is now nine. 9:25. Um, I'm about to go get some breakfast real quickly and um, eat real quick, gas up my car, things like that. Then I head to Walmart and cut it on and seed um, what batch order I could get and you know how much it would be. I've been noticing like the batch orders are like 40 some dollars, 50 dollars, 60 dollars. So, hmm. Hopefully I could get one of them sixty dollar ones, but if if not, I'll take a forty dollar one. It's okay. But yeah, so that's what today's video is gonna be about. I'm gonna be finally doing a batch order. I do not want. I do not know what to expect. I don't know if it's gonna be groceries. I don't know if it's gonna be like toiletries and like just personal items people need. I don't know. So we'll see once. Um, I accept an order and then I, I'm able to look into the details of the order. But yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. You guys wish me luck. <laughs> because listen, I'm nervous about it. I'm excited, but I'm nervous about it. Because it's like, you know, when you don't know what to expect, you, you just don't know what to expect. So I don't know what to expect, but I'm about to go ahead and start my day off by doing the things I said. Going to get some gas, going to get some breakfast real quick. And I'll be back. In the next clip all right you guys so I officially got my first batch order yay me <laughs> I'm at Walmart right now waiting on them to bring out my orders it's 14 orders I don't know what that was. it's 14 orders and uh, um I looked through everything it looks like it's gonna be like small stuff or like stuff around the house like vacuums medicine toiletries things like that that's what it pretty much looked like i didn't see any groceries <laughs> but yes 14 orders is estimated that i should do um i should complete all the deliveries in an hour to hour and a half the timing is now 10 08 and um it said i should be finished by 11 30 so we'll see about that um and i'm like nervous but excited like i said this is my first time accepting a batch order so i just really want to see how it goes this order was 45 dollars and 63 cents um so we'll see how that goes right now i don't know if y'all can see in the background they're loading somebody else's car up so they should be bringing my orders out momentarily but i'm just gonna sit here and wait i'm in reserve line nine at the moment and I sat there, brothers, to give me some ice because I needed, like, yesterday I felt like I didn't drink enough water. So I was like, gotta drink my water today. And it looked like it's gonna rain today. It really looks like it's gonna rain today. So, mm, I don't really like driving in the rain. Like, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm so excited. I know y'all about, like, girl, you look crusty, but that, I'm so excited I didn't want my wig today because I would have been very upset in my wig when it got wet in this rain. But yeah. We gotta do the damn thing. This probably gonna be my first and last batch order of today. My phone is just going off. Like, who blow me up? Okay. So it's 10 10 right now. I'm gonna come back in the next clip. Um, once they upload my car and everything, and I'll give you guys an update in the next clip. Okay, you guys, so this is what my trunk looks like. This is what my trunk looks like um, with all the spark orders in my car. And let's roll. Let's get on the roll. Let's deliver. And yeah. Okay, you guys, so it's officially 1026. I got at Walmart at 1005. It took them a whole 20 minutes to come out here and, you know, give me all my packages. So kind of that will push you back as well. <laughs> Tell them to get on it, baby. I've been in a slot waiting on them for 20 whole minutes. But nevertheless, let's get ready to deliver. It's now 926. 
I scanned all my orders in already. I have everything that I need. Uh, right now, I'm about to hit start delivery. It's about to take me to my first delivery. And yeah, 1026, I'm going to try to finish delivering all of my orders by 11.30. So, wow, I'm going to give myself an hour. I'm going to give 11.45. Okay, I'm going to give myself an hour and 15 minutes. I don't want to put pressure on myself. This is my first time doing batch orders, so I'm not going to like... Um, put pressure on myself, but let's get ready to hit the road. See you guys in the next clip. I'll officially deliver about seven orders in an hour. It's now 11:26, but I'm stuck in traffic at the moment. I don't know what the hell they doing over there, but I'm stuck in traffic. I'm literally two minutes away from my eight delivery, <laughs> and I'm stuck in traffic. But it's okay. I gave myself um to 11:45, and that's literally. 17 minutes away roughly um so yeah i don't think that i'm doing it by 11 45 but you know hey this is my first time taking batch orders so you know i try to give me a good goal but two hours it's looking like 12 o'clock i'll be finished traffic is finally kind of like settled down a little bit and yeah so let's go hit this eight delivery and i'll be back in the next clip all I have to say is, we finally finished. We finally made it. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Okay, so a quick update about my experience. The time is now 12.50. It took me two hours and 20 minutes to deliver 14 packages. But listen, I must say I did have a few hiccups. My first delivery, the lady held me up like 15 minutes because she wanted to tip me and then she thought she had smaller bills but then she figured out she only had a 20 and then she was trying to get me to give her change for a 20 and i didn't have change for a 20 so i don't know like you know <laughs> i told the lady you know what just don't worry about it thank you so much for offering the tip but um no thank you i'm okay have a great day and yeah that was 10 minutes that held me i went to my next delivery everything was fine i was you know rolling and then got stuck in traffic y'all seen in the clip got stuck in traffic and then you know pretty much my routes and how everything was from what i've seen the way they do it is very smart because i'm from new orleans if you guys do not know i live in new orleans and um me having a route my own route <laughs> i would have been so confused and i probably would have been going in circles so the way they do the routes is amazing i love it like i had three close deliveries um right right around walmart where i picked up and then i had to drive like 15 minutes and then my next set of deliveries was in that area then i drove another like 10 minutes my next set of deliveries was in that area so it was like the orders were batched or yeah bash together in different areas you have three here four here maybe two here another four here but they're like right around the corner from each other so i'm a, i must give spark a thumbs up for that because you you saved the girl life with that um a lot of the streets <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know existed honestly like I've been living in New Orleans all my life besides eight years and a lot of these streets I was like what the hell I never knew this street existed I never knew we had a street called this in New Orleans so I learned a lot from that so I, I do want to thank Spark for that a little education you know um I had some hiccups so like I had the traffic um i had two deliveries that went in the french quarters i don't know if you guys know but the french quarters is our tourist area and um it's very hard to park out there i had to park and walk three blocks to deliver these packages to these people one was a haunted house i had delivered to so it was no parking at all over there so that held me up for about 30 minutes just trying to find somewhere to park luckily the two deliveries was like within a block of each other so i had to carry them there wasn't no big deliveries there was small orders so that was a plus um but just having to park and walk and then walk back that held me up 30 minutes the traffic clip that held me up about 10 minutes um and my second to last delivery, it was an apartment complex. And I literally could get in the gate, had to call a customer because they didn't give me a gate code. 
she wasn't at home so she finally gave me a get cold and i was able to deliver it to her house put up packages in the front door take the picture scan and you know dip out so that held me up so i had a few hiccups but overall how i rate my experience i will rate spark delivery a 10 um the app the process i will rate that a 10. my routes and some of the things i had to grow through go through while delivering i will rate that an eight and a half it wasn't as bad because i flew through a lot of my deliveries it was just a few hiccups along the way but you know it's okay I got it down in two hours and 20 minutes. Um, wasn't that bad, honestly. I felt like a real UPS delivery driver, though. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I would love to do this again. Honestly, I had my little playlist rolling. Uh, I wouldn't say get all cute either for batch deliveries. I wouldn't say get all cute because you are really like, I would say your appearance is, you know, you, you want to keep your appearance up. Your appearance is everything. Make sure you have on like something decent. Like I have on something decent. Um, you know, don't just look like you rolled out of bed. Like I know my hair does, but I got a hat on my head. I just don't have my hair all over my head. You know, I have a hat. I try to look presentable. I had all my sneakers and things like that. But yeah, so, um, my next video, you guys, is going to be um, how to get paid with Spark in the process of that. So, please stay tuned. If you're signing up for Spark and you want to know how you get paid, how that process works and everything, please stay tuned for my next video because I'll be giving you guys all the scoop on that. It won't be like as in detail because I got to figure out how I'm going to do it in detail for you. But it's going to be simple enough for everyone to understand how they're going to get paid and how, what you should do and what you should download and all that and all that. Okay? So, this was my first batch order delivery experience with Spark. Um, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications for more videos like this and more videos of just me doing random crazy stuff you know because i try to bring a bunch of different things to my channel it's jizzy aka jv's is super cool i'm signing out